Hello, Emmanuel family. Uh, my name is Jim Lott. Uh, I think I know most of you. Uh, I am a member of Emmanuel and uh, have been since, uh, I hate to admit this, 1964. I was counting up the years and it will be 60 years, uh, assuming I make it to 2024, uh, since my wife and I came to uh, Stanton uh, so that I could take a position at Mary Baldwin. And uh, we thought uh, Stanton and Emmanuel looked like good places to be for about three or four years. And uh, our uh, little one-year-old son at the time is now uh, moving toward his 59th birthday. So that gives you a little bit of uh, my sense, uh, my history of uh, Emmanuel. Uh, and uh, over those years, uh, as you might imagine, and as some of you were, were along with me in the pilgrimage, at least part of the time, uh, we have had a lot of uh, changes at Emmanuel, a lot of challenges, a lot of wonderful times together. Uh, and uh, a lot of triumphs. And I do think that uh, the Holy Spirit moves uh, at Emmanuel and uh, continues uh, to do so. So uh, I wanted to say, first of all, that I'm uh, talking to you from uh, my office uh, at the top of my condo at Waverly Green. I look out onto the Blue Ridge Mountains. Uh, so this is my office, but it's also the place where for 14 months from uh, March of 2020 until May of 2021 this year, uh, this was my church pew. Uh, I joined uh, the rest of you uh, in uh, services uh, online uh, and uh, participated fully in that. Um, and uh, I'm so grateful for technology that uh, allowed that to happen. Uh, but I am even more grateful that we are able now to uh, join one another uh, in, uh, in person at Emmanuel. Uh, Emmanuel, as you know, is moving into a, a, an exciting uh, life with all of us together. And uh, part of what I would like to say is I want to encourage everyone to uh, think about Emmanuel and to pray about Emmanuel and uh, to uh, participate as fully as you feel comfortable doing. As you know, we're continuing to uh, offer our 1030 service uh, online, and uh, we welcome all who want to join us in that way, but we also uh, have an eight o'clock uh, communion service and a 1030 communion service. And uh, we do it safely. And uh, we would love to have uh, uh, everyone, uh, everyone join us. I want to uh, just uh, say uh, right now that, uh, as you know, we are looking forward to the arrival of a new rector. Uh, we uh, cannot uh, broadcast uh, our new rector's name. Uh, we, we have been told, our, uh, our senior warden, Steve, uh, announced a week ago that uh, our new rector is English, uh, priest in the uh, Church of England, uh, that uh, for the moment uh, we cannot uh, uh, use his name uh, in social media. Uh, but I do have uh, an announcement to make, and uh, I want you to uh, look uh, in your mailboxes over the next uh, three or four days, two or three or four days, uh, there will be a letter. And in that letter, uh, Steve Barnicking, our senior warden, will reveal the name of our new rector. But he will ask at the same time uh, that uh, it not be shared on social media. Uh, this is a sensitive time for our new rector. Uh, he is uh, still priest in a parish church, uh, and uh, he is uh, negotiating his way through his transition, and we want to honor uh, his sensitivities and uh, his feelings uh, and concerns. I must say that I have met him online, uh, along with the rest of the vestry and all of the search committee, and I join uh, everyone on those two, in those two groups uh, in expressing my uh, absolute uh, delight and enthusiasm. Uh, he will be uh, a, a wonderful uh, priest and leader uh, and shepherd uh, for, uh, for us all. So do look for Steve's letter. It should arrive within the next, uh, the next two or three days. I also want to uh, uh, mention that uh, next Sunday, the 21st, uh, there will be uh, two opportunities for everyone to meet with the vestry. Uh, one will one opportunity will be at 915 in Memorial Hall uh, at um, uh, at the church 
and uh, that will be in person. It will not be uh, broadcast. And uh, those of you who uh, prefer to meet online, there will be an opportunity later that day at 12.15 uh, to meet uh, through Zoom. Uh, Steve announced a week ago, and I want to reiterate this because it's such an exciting opportunity. Uh, our new rector and his husband will be here in Stanton uh, Thanksgiving week. And on November 24th, which is the Wednesday evening before Thanksgiving Day in Memorial Hall, uh, we will be uh, able to meet and greet uh, our, new, uh, our new rector. And I hope everyone will put that on the calendar. Uh, it will be a wonderful opportunity the night before Thanksgiving uh, to do that. And uh, it will uh, uh, charge up our Thanksgiving day to give us uh, something else to be uh, greatly thankful for. Uh, our, uh, the issue that we will be facing is that because of visa procedures, we may be looking at several months uh, without uh, our rector, before our rector can arrive. Uh, our interim rector, Denise Junta, has agreed to stay with us until January 9, uh, the Sunday after um, um, Epiphany. Uh, and a small group of us are already planning uh, for uh, services and for arrangements for pastoral care uh, between the time uh, Denise uh, leaves, and, and we thank Denise for all of her work on our behalf uh, for the time she uh, leaves uh, until our new rector uh, arrives. So there are many uh, exciting things happening all really around now focusing on uh, our, uh, our new rector, and uh, I uh, look forward to continuing to uh, share information uh, and uh, to uh, ultimately uh, not only meet and greet, but to settle in with uh, uh, the new leadership, which will be uh, offered by our rector. Uh, I'd like to uh, close uh, by asking you to join me in a prayer. We've been praying uh, for, uh, how long is it? 18, 14, 18 months uh, for uh, guidance for our search committee and uh, those who are making the decision about our new rector. Uh, and I'd like now to turn to uh, the prayer book uh, and ask you to join me in the prayer for uh, 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 for our uh, for our parish. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, ruler of all things in heaven and on earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Many blessings on us all and uh, uh, may God be with us. <laughs>